Hi, this is Ron McTube. Today on Where the Hunter, we're going on our first red deer hunt at Transylvania. Now, you might be thinking, why are you here, Ron? This isn't Transylvania. It's because I've just finished my last hunt, the duck hunting. Check that video out if you haven't already seen it. I've come to Bearden Lodge because we're going to buy a brand new gun to go red deer hunting. Now, you might be thinking, what are you going to buy? Well, I'm going to show you now. I want to upgrade and see what the real big guns are like. So we've got the SM12 at the minute, the 300 Win Mag, very powerful, but we're gonna buy one even more powerful, the 338. We're gonna try that out on Red Deer. It'll be interesting to see how much meat we lose actually, and whether it's really good to use on them. But I just wanted to try this out because uh, it's an actual beast of a gun. Long range sort of specialist gun, and it's very powerful. But uh, it'll be interesting to see what it's like on moose, bears. Imagine that long range shot on the bear with one of those. Definitely would help. But um, yeah, it's a long range specialist gun. So we're gonna buy that today, have our first hunt with it on Transylvania, go there. I'm also gonna take another gun as well. I think we'll use the 3030 Grandpa's old rifle. We'll stick that in the second slot um, just in case you see roe deer or anything like that. So we've got something to use. We can't use 338 on those. The problem is we might not be able to hunt red uh, roe deer because we haven't got the license. It's right on the boundary where I've spotted some. And um, we might hunt and we might not. Depends how close they are to the boundary. Basically, if you haven't got a license for that area, what happens is uh, you sort of like poaching. So we don't want to be doing that. We want to do it right. You can do missions and unlock some of those areas as well. Um, so I may do that or if I've got enough money I'll just buy them depending on what we want to do there's also wolves in the area so up to yet in this area where I am on Transylvania I've spotted roe deer, red deer, wild boar, wolves, um, mouflon so there's quite a lot of animals in there and we've only just started out so we've got the 338 on let's go hunt red deer Right, let's jump over to Transylvania and I'll show you where I've just unlocked a campsite. Right, see you there in a second. So here we are. It's a nice little campsite. By a river, a little pond. We've got a hunting tower on my right, but there's all red deer tracks, zones around this pond. So it should be a good location. I'll show you on the map exactly where we're hunting them, but let's get straight into it. Remember, we've got the 338, um, we've also got Grandpa's rifle for road deer, if we get a chance to shoot them. But like I say, they're right on the boundary if we see them. I've come at the right time. Let's just have a look at this one. So, there you go, red deer, eating. So we've got eating, drinking, everything all around this sort of pond area, right on top of the campsite. So uh, this should be a good location, and there's a tower there, as you can see. So uh, very picturesque. Water's nice, looks good, and Transylvania is really stunning. You can definitely tell they put a lot of work into this. A lot of effort and passion. But here it goes. It'd be nice if we get a wolf as well, but uh, if we do get a wolf, that'd be a little bonus, but Red Deer is the main one today. And I want to try out the 338 really and see whether it's worth using over um, this Daya SM12. I normally use the 300 Wind Mag. I just want to see how much uh, meat we lose on the big stuff. Basically, we want to get the most money for our meat. And uh, it's no good just using massive guns overkill on certain animals because you're going to lose a lot of meat and uh, obviously that means less money so let's go find these red deer now last time I seen a group when I was after the wild boar uh, just over this ridge there was grazing on the uh, mountainside there was about 10 or 12 of them there was two small males I think and um, mainly females but the reason I really want to hunt them is I want to try out this 338 and see how good it is Especially on a bigger animal, especially like moose. Imagine bear at long range, that 800 meter shot. Imagine that. I think this would definitely help with the long range stuff, so that's why I want to try it. 
So we've got some small males and females, but let's see how it knocks these down. Now, I did see wolves up on that sort of ridge last time. I think they rest a lot in the uh, areas of those forest tree lines. And the red deer seem to be in the same location. I don't know if they chase them. That would be interesting to see if there's any interactions with wolves and other animals. Or if dangerous animals like bears, wolves attack. I do want to know about that. But there's a road deer I was on about. It was really funny yesterday because the first time I seen him, one of the females let out like a big cry. And it was it was actually quite scary and loud. And it said, calm. And then uh, someone in the comments, I was mentioning it in another video, and uh, he said, uh, oh, that's quite normal. It's actually quite realistic. They do do that. So that is good to know. But let's get into position and try and take our first shot with the 338 and see how good it is how's your red deer hunting going have you been on transylvania how's your hunting going in general how are you liking where the hunter drop in the comments i'm being inundated with the comments people replying people loving the videos so thanks all for that i really do appreciate it and it's nice that so many are loving where the hunter yes there's a few small issues but they're on it they're fixing them as we speak and this is going to be an absolute amazing game can't wait to see what comes next yeah my objective today is get at least a red deer maybe a wolf if we see the wolves we might have a go at those hello all right we could take that one or we got that one so the young immature red deer stags but for educational purposes, we're going to shoot one. See what this 338's like. But yeah, look, they're only young males. Can't wait to see a massive one. There's nothing like a big red deer stag. So, I think you're going to be the choice. Sorry to say this, but you are the test. <laughs> for the 338. It goes... Oof! Jumped quite a bit, didn't it? Very realistic. He's limping. Nice little touch there. You can see the blood from here as well. That's cool. So it must be a good, nice shot. I don't think he's going to go far. Right. How far is he going to go? 300 wind mag does drop him. The SM12 stayer. Um, so it would be interesting if this is much better. He's down already. Sometimes animals will bed down though and they're not dead and uh, they'll get up. The roe deer is still there so we've not spooked those. Like I say, I might hunt them this hunt, I might not. They're right on the boundary of where I can hunt and uh, I'm just thinking if I shoot one, it runs over the line, we're not going to be able to collect it or like harvest it. But he is definitely dead. So it didn't take long, he only run about, what, 50 metres. This is my car from yesterday. Basically, I drove down from there, from the first outpost, and then uh, I spotted them where I'm standing, basically. So it just shows you, they need zones, they can be in all different places, not just the same one every time. I thought they'd be here, and I thought I'd come up the hill and maybe see them here, but they're on the opposite side. But uh, yeah, you can see exactly where I was yesterday when I first spotted them. I wonder what's up there gonna have to uh, journey into some of these mountains i seen another big group of wild boar and they was absolutely motoring so i don't know if it's something to do with the wolves if they'd spook them or i'd spook them but there was a really big group of them gonna have to do some more wild boar hunting but today's about red deer and the 338 but yeah really loving the game i love that i can just hunt i don't feel forced into getting trophies um I just enjoy playing it, which is nice to say. Get ready for Call of Wild the Angler. That's coming out soon. And here's the wolves. Spooked them. So they must have been in that dip. I knew they'd be around here somewhere. Let's have a look at the map. So I've come from the bottom outpost is where you start. And basically I've just drove up the road towards where I am. Found this campsite. But as you can see, look. Right on the edge of that border there, that's where the road deer is sitting. 
So we've either got to go purchase a license or maybe do missions. It's about four and a half thousand, I think, for the license. So I may just go and kill some moose, to be honest, because you get a thousand a time for them. But here's our red deer. So 403. So about half as much as a moose. So for money, they're not that good, really. You're probably better off hunting moose if you want to get more money, because they're about a grand, even for a level one. So, more than double. But there we go, nice clean shot. How much meat have we lost? That's what I want to know. So it's a young male, class one, single long. It was 9.45 in the morning, 403. So there's the market price per kilo. And we lost 65 kilo. Wow. That's a lot of meat lost. Look, nearly a third we lost from that shot. Quite a lot. So we sell him. We'll have a look at the encyclopedia. Mm, I'd love to go for them. But I think uh, they're long gone. At least I know where they are now. We do need to hunt grey wolves. So here we are, Encyclopedia. Let's learn all about the red deer. This will help people out. So, the red deer is one of the largest deer species. A male red deer is called a stag or a hart, and a female is called a hind. The stag has a long, regularly branched antlers, bearing a total of 10 or more tines. Its coat is reddish brown, darkening to grayish brown. Hunting tier, level six. There's the jewels you need to shoot them. This is the need zone times for drinking, feeding, resting. There you go, there's all the times. Animal weights, there we go. So young is two to three. Mature is nine to 12 years old. And they go up to 240 kilos, the males. So that's quite big. And the females, 170 kilo is their max. So quite a bit of size difference. The males also grow a short neck mane, which along with their neck gets bigger as they grow. Their, belly, their bellies get larger and more saggy, a bit like mine. <laughs> Primary habitat, lowland forest, highland forest, grassland, uh, trophy type antlers, still chuckling, uh, trophy ranges, it's 460 to 500. So there you go, that's all the info about the red deer. Hope that helps you out where to find them. You know all about them now. 338. Three, very powerful, but you lose quite a lot of meat. So you've got to bear in mind when you use them. But for things like moose and the big animals, long range shots, I think I'll be using it. Especially for those 800 meter shots. So today we've been taking out the 338. We took out our first red deer as well. Hope you enjoyed the video. As you can see, I need to get a permit. Get ready for the next video after this for Way of the Hunter. I'm Ron Please subscribe to our YouTube channels. And thanks for watching. Bye bye.